Because we had a little bit of issues before we came in. <sighs> so guys, we have a lot to talk about in this video from the things that happened during the day to their games nights. And you guys know how we do with games nights. I give you all the tea, all the details of everything that happened during their game session, the questions, the answers, the dares, everything, everything. And I'm here, I'm here to give you guys all the tea. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please do want to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified time I post a brand new video. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. So as usual, I'm going to be reading out the questions, the dares, everything because there's no other way I'm going to make sure that I give you guys every single detail of everything that happened. So for the first person that failed, normally they play lemon lemon game or any other game. But at the end of the day, it's the punishment for failing is usually a dare or, you know, truth. Right. So for the first part, I mean, for the first failure, <laughs> the first person that was called out to do something or to say something was handy. And for her, she, she chose truth. They asked her when last she knocked and she said it's been a while, like five months ago or so. And then for Mayo, they told him to like name three ladies or yeah, name three ladies in the house that he is attracted to. And he chose Ruthie, Nelly and Handy. And then he failed again. And then for that one, they told him to like the, um, show us his favorite position. Three of his favorite positions, I mean, five of his favorite positions. And he first of all chose Ruti, but she refused to come out. And then he now chose Onyeka. Kayode did not really show us everything. He just showed us the beginning part. And then for Ozzy, they asked him if he could bang a girl in the house, any girl in the house. They said, okay, we know you have a babe outside, but let's leave that. That aside, if you could bang any babe in the house, who is it going to be? And he was trying to be political. He was like, hmm. It's going to, he'll, he'll begin with Oyeka. Then for Femi, they asked him who he's attracted to in the house sexually, and his answer was Handy. For Handy, they asked her the guys that she would like to knock if she had the opportunity to outside of the house. And she was just looking at them like, ha, ah, you guys have set me up. But um, at the end of the day, she, she named O.C., T.J., and Kelly Ray. All of them were just shouting like, it's a lie. You're giving us a political answer. O.C., Doc, Kelly Ray! And then um, Cassia was just on one side, just observing what was going on. The people that she called, they were there smiling up and down. I say, ah, it's all right. And then um, OC, they asked him to like um, talk about two of his sexual fantasies. The first one, <laughs> the first one, he said um, it's him and nine ladies. I don't need to give you guys all the details of what him and nine ladies, him having nine ladies means. For the second um, fantasy, he was like, <laughs> he doesn't mind destroying two DJ flows. Really, he said it's DJ flow. I was like, huh? Huh? I'm gonna need like nine, nine women. Nine? Yeah, nine. I wouldn't mind dis destroying two <laughs> DJ flows. Then for Kelly Ray, he was asked to do his dance. There's this funny dance that he does. So they told him to like demonstrate his dance on a housemate. And he just did that. I think he chose Victoria to do that with. He just did <laughs> his funny dance. They did not show us like that. I don't know what's, what's up with Kelly Ray, to be honest. He missed a, a good part of most of the dares or the truths. No, not the truths because we could obviously still hear. But most of the dares... He just shows small and then the rest. I'm like, okay, okay, why? <laughs> why is that? What's, what's going on? Right? And then um, this is the point exactly. The next part was the part that he did not show so much. The part where they dared Anita to kiss Tofa. So Anita failed and then she um, she picked the they now then had to kiss Sofa for emphasis so far. So far for
15. It was very hot because at some point she even pulled her glasses by herself. So imagine, imagine. Kind of day. It's fine though. It's okay. You have your reasons. And then um, Ben was asked to name three ladies that um, the same knocking question, like three ladies that he would like to knock. And the lady, um, aside Shizoba, they also ex excluded Anita because they felt like he would pick Anita as his safe choice. Me, I feel like he likes Anita. Or I don't know why they're removing her as a safe choice. I feel like what he has for Anita is more than just this whole um, best friend type likeness. And anyway, I'm not him, so I don't know. But they excluded Anita so that he's um, he won't pick her. Number one is Andy. Two is um, Victoria. And then um, for the experience. <laughs> you all know the answer. <laughs> so I'm sorry. One, one, that's the tip. <laughs> then Sean was asked the same question, right? And he picked DJ Flo, Shizoba, and Anita. <laughs> one of them, by the way, twins was like, it's a lie. You're giving us a political answer. But he was like, ah, that's his answer. So at the end of the day, that's what he went with. I mean, now, his answer is his answer. So you cannot change it. And uh, when he went back to his seats, one day was now giving him pecs and stuff. I say, okay, <laughs> it's all right. Then um, Ben was asked who, he, who who is more attractive between Anita and Chizoba. And it's his partner that asked him, which kind of setup question is that? <laughs> so obviously he chose Chizoba. It was like, to me, this is the person that is more attractive. So yeah. And then for Nelly, she was asked if um she will still be the same this same way with suj outside of the house like you know she's going to maintain this same energy at first she was not she, <laughs> she was sounding very not confident or sounding like ah this people why are you doing this to me and then she, she was like yeah like the, she said yes 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 much more yes before the final one when they were now saying is it yes or is no let's let us know and then she now answered of course yes. after this house yeah, yes of course or just yes, of course yes. or... <laughs> so you oh, yes. you you know, your friends are watching you <laughs> she said, said yes she said yes and then before they started playing the games they were discussing toby um handy chizoba and cassia they were just talking about the toby thing so Recently, Toby has been trying to get close to Chizoba. You know, he has moving to Chizoba, and then Handy was now saying that eh, um, she was calling him a dry boy. <laughs> That's a very dry boy. What is he trying to trying to do? Trying to play games? Trying to play how many women? This and that and that. He doesn't even have mind to do all those things. That is a alcohol that is giving him the mind to like you know approach um, Chizoba. <laughs> They should leave Toby alone now. She, if one does not work, he cannot try another one. It's okay if he is interested in trying to get to know more people. Even though, uh, let's say he's shipping, he just wants to ship in the house. Most of them, that's what they are doing. So I don't see any reason why they should even be dragging him for that. Because is obviously not interested. He's free to try to get to know any other person. He approached Ben first. So ask him whether he's serious about Chizoba before. Um, he just asked her. I don't know what his answer was, but Ben said he asked him if he's serious or his intentions towards Chizoba, and he told Ben that he likes her. So yeah, don't say anything wrong with all of those things. Shoot your shots, my dear. <laughs> if you work, you work. If you don't work, you carry your your L and be going. Meanwhile, after the game session, Ozzy and Oyeka they were having a conversation. And Ozzy expressed a lot in that conversation that just showed that, okay, it looks like there's something going on here. It looks like this guy actually does like this babe. Because the way he was going about it and the things that he was saying, Oyeka asked him a question and she was trying to find out what's up. Because she said that Big Brother asked her some questions about like them or the way Big Brother uh, mentioned things to her it's almost like there's something going on there so she was now questioning what did big brother see that's making him feel like there's a thing here um that was her own cover like oh it's big brother that is thinking things i don't have anything here ozzy was not telling her that you know there's a reason for that that big brother sees it i see it that's him he said he spoke about also seeing it she was like ah she's not seeing it all that she, she relates with everybody the same da, 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 da. i said okay 
At some point, he spoke about having a soft spot for her. Hey, no, no. It's not why he used to protect me. Because you're gentle? Mm -hmm. Why do you protect me? I have a soft spot for you. Why? On the one hand, you just remind me of me sometimes. In all of this, Sha, Oyega was just like coming from the angle of ah nothing no nothing there's nothing going on here i don't i'm not seeing it i feel like we relate the same i do I, I joke with other people more than i even joke with you and all of that and ozzy was trying to get her to admit that there's something that she's feeling what is going on there but you know nothing she do hard girl i say it's okay meanwhile they were changing positions while they were lying down you know you know at some point they will hold i mean at some point her, sorry at some point her hand would be across she would um you know raise her head up it was um an up close and personal type conversation because they were like lying down on the couch together but then Oyeka said it's nothing so it's probably nothing <laughs> and then earlier on we um zion and femi they were having a conversation and he was just talking about Chinwe and you know reasons why he likes Chinwe, right or you know the things that she did that made him like get so into the relationship you know pray for him you know taking care of him cooking and everything and just being very homely and stuff and then in the conversation he was like she's not his usual type his usual spec that is only her <laughs> bakasi it's only the vacancy that's like his usual spec. Like they send me prayer points, different things. Like yeah. prayer for girls, kind. So now, like I'm just calling this thing. Yeah. Homely like, woman. Now homely woman, you get. Who don't know be my normal spec. Okay. Okay. You get. Now just the answer, my spec. Normal. Then during the diary session, Sean revealed that they, um, himself and Victoria, before they got into the house, they had a fallout or they had some issues. And that's what affected their first week or their first period, first few weeks or yeah, their first few weeks in the house and why they were not really close. He said he needed some space from her. Like in the first week, I struggled a lot with, um, with my duo because we had a little bit of issues before we, we came in. So I came in wanting to like have my space from her a little bit. Some people are speculating that Victoria cheated on him, this and that and that. I don't know, I don't know where they're getting that from but i'm just gonna leave it at that for suj um people told him about his sister's baby his sister has put to bed and you know suj got very emotional he was even tearing up i was like oh and then for um same suj he told people about their plans to host a dinner for his other half in the house himself and Tofa hosting for Nelita. Um, so we were planning to have like a dinner date in the garden with um, Anita and Nelly. And you know, we're just asking Big Brother to try to help him set it up and, and stuff. I don't think Big Brother is going to do that for them, except they win something. Like, you know how you win like all those um, coins that time and you use it to buy dinner dates. There's nothing like that. I don't think you'll do it for them, Shabo. Let's be watching. For their games, they had a task yesterday, and let me just briefly, um, ex let me just briefly talk about it. It was their low park task. For that task, it was divided into two parts, I mean three parts. The first part, they played the charade games, and you know, just normal charade games. You know how it is now. For the second part, it was the cooking challenge. They just spent like I think for five minutes or one hour cooking. And then after that, they had the presentation. The presentation was to be done in form of a cooking show, which is where some of the teams flopped. And the different teams were, let me just call out the teams, Team Low Pack Premium, Team Low Pack Delight, Low Pack Tasty, Low Pack Indulge. And yeah, let me just talk about how their presentation went. For the first team that had the Mbadiwe Twins, Checkers and Better, they did okay, like their presentation was very okay. They followed the team, the cooking show type team. Although, although Ben was like very noisy, they did one dance, one, you know how you do advert song and everything. Oyeka was the one that did that one. It was quite funny. But then 
you know, it's okay. To engage the creativity and deliver a MasterChef experience using Lurpak. We used suya and spaghetti, mm -hmm. garlic, yaji spice. This is a suya spice in Nigeria. Oh. Lurpak, good food deserves Lurpak. For the second team, they had Chatoria, Dobuke, and um, Aces. They did a very good job. Like, it was a full it was a full-time cooking show they had everything on lockdown they had the um host i mean uh, the judges the judges that they invited from overseas to come and taste the food so everything was complete and i think that's why they ended up winning right so they did everything right they followed the team it was interesting and they had a nice team song it's good to be in nigeria today to just taste the food that you guys have for us <laughs> Nigeria jollof is the best. It's better than Ghana. No cap. Hey. Your butter, butter, nothing better. The life food taste yeah. in every butter spray. Let's go. And then for the next team that had Zinwe, Nelita, and um, Wani Xandi, their own they acted drama, which was completely off. I don't think they understood the team. And I just knew that they were not going to win because, like, why are you acting in a cooking show? And you know, even no, they were not the ones that danced. It wasn't the last team. My God don't give me assignment to me and my second. The last thing that came out to present was just a disaster. The radicals were doing their dance presentation inside the whole thing. It was it was just completely off, right? And at the end of the day, the team that had Kelly Ray, Double K, Aces, and Shatoria won. Congratulations to them. Obviously, they've still not told us what they're going to win. But yeah, that is how that played out. I think that's it for this video. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye. Love you.